Welcome guys, if you guys are new to my channel, don't hit the subscribe button yet, don't hit the like button yet, I hope I earned it by the end of this. We're going to react to a video made by Logically Answered, if you guys want to go subscribe to him as well, he makes great content. And this is a video about uh, Skillshare, like kind of the dark side of it. And before we dive into this nitty gritty side of Skillshare, a uh, word from our sponsor. Let me take a few minutes to talk to you about a website called Skillshare. Have you wanted to learn how to do something out of the ordinary interesting? Well, you can by taking classes online at Skillshare.com, which are taught by instructors and have their own class rosters. I'm joking, guys. You really thought I was going to be sponsored by Skillshare? I, I, I can't even get a sponsor from Raid Shadow Legends. Speaking of Raid, this stream's brought to you by- <laughs> Let's just start the video. Alright, here we go. Diving in head first into Thrinches War, I see. I don't know. This might ruin Skillshare for me. I don't know if any of you guys have used it. I've never used it. I've always saw people sponsor it. I know the Ghoul Boys have sponsored it, Shane and Ryan. I don't know. I could be wrong. Maybe Pewds. I, I I don't know. Skillshare. 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 I like Skillshare. Or... YouTubers sold out. Imagine if this really was brought to you by Skillshare, guys. <laughs> that would be... F Imagine if he just said... Speaking of Skillshare, oh, Kara's over there on the left with the dog. I got distracted. It's so cute. You guys want to see it? That's my beautiful fiance, and that's a dog that she found um, in an orphanage. Basically, every infotainment video on YouTube pitches Skillshare as some sort of godly resource. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I never knew what Skillshare was. I think I always doze off when they like start the sponsor. Is it kind of like Fiverr, except you learn instead of buying the skills, you're like learning the skills? I guess. Let's see. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. At this point, Skillshare isn't even seen as a learning platform. It seems. Oh, that answers my question. Skillshare has done a phenomenal job when it comes to branding, marketing, and positioning. But the same cannot be said about the platform itself. Skillshare is not only a mediocre platform, it's a negative platform. And that's huh. not my opinion. That's the overwhelming opinion of everyone who ended up using the platform. On Trustpilot, for example, Skillshare has a horrendous average rating of 1.7 stars, with 32% of reviews being one star rating. Is it like one big scam? How did they have enough money to pay these YouTubers? Ratings. And that's despite a massive upward skew from YouTubers. For example, let's say I'm watching Ali up. This guy keeps like answering questions as I ask them. I swear I have not watched this video. That is. <laughs> Whoa. I'm a wizard. If I go check out his Skillshare course, I'll probably get exactly what I'm looking for, which may lead to a glowing five star review. But this isn't really a testament as to how good Skillshare is as a platform. It's really just a review of Ali Abdul or Nathaniel Drew or Marcus Brownlee. Worse than YouTube. Boy, you're on YouTube saying it's worse than YouTube. What? What is this paradox I'm in? About Skillshare is that it's not actually better than YouTube. At best, it's able to match YouTube. And this is true for basically any topic that you want. Wait, wait, wait. I, I get it. So he's saying it's not. It's not better than YouTube. Saying it's worse than YouTube just implies that YouTube is bad and this is worse. I think he worded that wrong. I don't think he meant it that way. To learn about. Take Swift coding, for example. If you're not familiar with Swift, you can look it's it up. the coding language that you have to use for native iOS development. So it's a pretty relevant skill. Yet, if you search up Swift on Skillshare, you don't get much more than 50 results. And out of these results, only three of them are actual courses on Swift that last 30 plus hours. Code with Chris alone has 536 videos, all about iOS development. And many of these are over three hours long. Before we get into this, I, I've always said this. We live in a time where I know you're going to like some of you going to disagree. It's, a, it's like the, the, the cliche, like if you want it, you're going to get it. If you didn't get it, you never really wanted it. We're at the time where we're like at the peak. I know things are going to keep evolving. Technology is going to get better and stuff like that. But we are at the peak where like, it's like, 
it can only get so much better. Meaning there can only be so many more videos. So if you want to learn a skill, you just YouTube it. But that being said, it, it's just crazy because if you want to learn how to change a car tire, for instance, you can look it up on YouTube and you will be able to do it if you follow step by step. If you want to learn how to do coding, you can YouTube that as well. Everything is free to learn. And they make money when you watch it. But that's like the older generation doesn't get that you can learn a lot more on YouTube than you can in a textbook from school. Am I crazy if I'm saying this? School is like a babysit for kids between like teenagers to the 18 while parents can't babysit them because they have to work. And then when you're old enough to work, you're old enough to have kids. And then you're going to have to put them into babysit, which is just school. Education is just a way to expand your daily day, day to keep the kid there. Because what you learn in that textbook, I can learn in five minutes on YouTube. They just summarize the important parts. So if you want to teach me an equation in math class, I don't have to do a hundred goddamn equations. I can learn that one equation and apply that to any number. It's just how it works. Now, I'm not saying school is not important. Of course it is. And, and like, I'm just saying we are at a time where if you do drop out, there are many successful dropout stories where it's the people that want to learn. You know, it's it's not like you dropped out because you're lazy or you just don't want to do it and then you don't want to learn. Then you're going to fail. It's the ones that want to succeed in life in like, you know, faster, quicker ways. YouTube is the way to go. And I'm sorry for ranting, but it's just, I know there's a majority of people out there that do agree with what I'm saying. They teach you how to make a feature completely functional from beginning to end. How to make a custom login page using Google authentication. How to play Valorant on your Xbox. Hmm? What? Cal there's a video in that, Cal? I know I keep pausing. But, you know, copyright reasons. I can't just play this whole video. I gotta make this my content as well. There's a video on it. So, here's the video. He takes an Xbox. He puts it on a chair. He sits on it. And he loads up Valorant on the PC. We also have Sean Allen, Paul Hudson, CodePro, Rebeloper, Let's Build That App, and so many more in just the little niche of Swift. This same argument can be made for learning JavaScript or animation or motion graphics or cooking or basically any skill you can think of. That's what I said. That's what I said. You can learn anything on YouTube. I forget. This is my first actual official video. If you notice the quality is different, this is me straight up recording for YouTube. I'm not uploading a stream. So it's just me and you guys now. I'm mainly focused. So if you like this so far, please do subscribe. We're going to continue. I'm sorry to keep pausing. Though I don't think that Skillshare is worth the money, I would have expected Skillshare to be on the top of their game when it comes to customer satisfaction. But reading through these Trustpilot reviews, that doesn't seem to be the case. I, I, I feel like this is one big advertisement and I keep trying to skip it. My brain is wired to like skip this part in the video where the timestamp is like, oh, it says Skillshare. I'm going to skip it to where the video begins. So I got I got a nat something for you guys. So, she will be joining me in some games, and we will be recording it specifically for YouTube, not just streaming. And I love her very much, and this is honestly going to be a fun journey. I do hope to grow this channel with you guys, and I do see, I do see hope. I do see an audience for us. So, that being said, I, I don't know what to say to get you to subscribe, but I, I'm just going to keep putting out content and hope for the best when I say hi. <laughs> she's shy she's not even on cam and she's shy but yeah this is Kara. i honestly don't know what games yet but we'll see we'll think of something um that is entertaining for you guys and also entertaining for us as well and if you do enjoy this content uh there's streams on twitch and stuff that you can watch which would be in the link below all right since i'm not sponsoring anybody i have to like plug myself you know basically you do indeed get one month for free but you get charged for the following 12 month period before the trial month even ends. This is of course stated in the fine print. Cancel before the trial ends to avoid being charged. But if we're being honest, this is rather misleading. And they see all this advertising about this one free month. So they decide to give it a shot only to be charged $168 two weeks later. And- Oh, two weeks later? Well, here's the rule guys. Whenever you do a month free trial, 
Learn from the bear, right? I got to teach you something. You cancel the subscription right away. And then it's going to say something like, your trial will be ongoing, but you won't be charged after this date. So Skillshare apparently charges you after two, two weeks, but they promised a month. That is misleading. It is a big scam. Um, but I will say this. YouTube Premium, right? You want to do the one month free trial. It costs a dollar. Pay the dollar and then cancel it that day. So you don't forget when the trial is over and you get charged for it. That also goes for anything. Game Pass or whatever. Yeah, I do that sometimes. Not anymore, but yeah. It doesn't seem like they tried to even make it up to customers. Sam, for example, missed the refund window for an annual subscription by just four days, and he was refused any sort of refund at all. Even if you do get a refund, though, you're not out of the woods just yet. Because what? you could be charged one year later. Take Roberta's daughter, for example. You get charged a year later after getting refunded for the free trial? What does this say? I know you guys can't read the whole thing, so I'll read it. And I don't know if he's going to read it, but I'll read the whole thing because it's a lot. My daughter signed up for a free trial. They never said anywhere that she would be signing up for a year. This was a year ago. At that time, she told them she wasn't happy with, with it, but her trial period ended. Can she still get her money back? And that she wants to cancel, in all caps, as you can see, um, her membership, obviously. They did refund her money, but they never canceled her membership. And a year later, she was charged again. Jesus, that is insane. In her correspondence with them through email, they kept skirting around. Skirt, skirt? The issue. <laughs> I've never heard somebody actually say skirting around in the sentence. <laughs> I've only heard it in like ad libs. That's actually funny shit. <laughs> well, apparently she kept skirting around the issue and they can't refund her twice. They ignored the fact that she shouldn't have been charged to begin with. Since she cancelled previously. And the email back to her. They even gave a direct uh, quote from her. From her list. Uh, from her first email a year earlier. Sorry I'm trying to read over my camera. That said in her own words. For them to cancel her membership. They quoted. Her asking them to cancel. I wrote to them. And they told them all this. And they never responded. They are scammers. Bum ba dum bum 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 bum. We are scammers. Bum, ba, dum, bum, 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 bum. I forgot what advertisement that was. Somewhere in the States. Hi, Kara. She's watching me record all this, by the way. <laughs> I feel like PewDiePie when he records videos and he's super loud and, he, and Marcia can hear him in the next room. She signed up for a free trial. She too was surprised when she was suddenly charged an annual subscription. Fortunately, though, she was able to contact customer support and get a refund and cancel her membership. But one year later, she was charged for a renewal. When she contacted Cust See? The he didn't read the whole thing. Aren't you glad I paused and read the whole thing for you guys? Why thank you, Cal? You really thought about us. Oh <laughs> I I know. I'm really I'm really like thoughtful like that. I hope I gained your subscription by then, because that was very nice of me. They even sent her a quote from her original email thread showing that they had issued a refund. The funny part was that this quote also contained evidence that she had asked them to cancel one year ago but when this was pointed out to them they simply stopped replying all of this Oof. is truly quite a Oof. shame for a company imagine getting ghosted by a company <laughs> you're never getting laid but this is simply the harsh reality of skillshare if all of that wasn't already bad enough there's well more there's more poop to scoop Kara's just hearing this <laughs> she's not she can't even hear the video. That's why it's funny. I like look left to see her reaction. <laughs> I say weird stuff. The video will make sense, honey. All right. After. All right. Yeah. Maybe it won't, to be honest. I mean, nothing makes sense anymore. Is this real life? Skills. Content creator. What would that say? Hey. Your not only has subpar content that costs a fortune, but... I was, I was thinking about this, actually. I'm glad he's diving into this, because I was thinking... What is so special about Skillshare that people would rather do that than do YouTube? Because on YouTube, you do have a chance to get paid. On my mind, I was like, are people giving better content on YouTube because they want to gain your respect and subscribers? And in return, they do. And in return, you get good content. And in return, they get money out of it. Do they? It, like, it's not like that on Skillshare. There's not people sitting on Skillshare going, 
I'll sub to you. I'll do this. You're not gaining validation. So you can put out the yuckiest, muckiest stuff and like hope for the best. Whereas on YouTube, if you really want to make it, you got to put it out there. You got to like give it your all. You're also preying on YouTubers most loyal audience. When it comes to Skillshare, I bet that a significant portion of people who sign up aren't even trying to learn. They simply want to support a creator and see more content from said creator, similar to something like Patreon. But unlike Patreon, most of the sub- I, I don't mind Patreon though. I think Patreon is nice because it's more like a community. The, the community of like Patreon is just, you know, people that want to go beyond your YouTube channel and kind of support you knowing that you do it for a living. Like, say, for me, I put in so much effort, and then I get, like, you know, hundreds and thousands of subscribers. And then I want to branch out more and kind of connect with you guys more. I would do a Patreon to get more support from you guys. I think that is way, way, way more different than, like, Skillshare. Patreon is kind of like, if you respect my content and you really do like it, and you want to support me beyond YouTube so I can do it for a living, then help me out on Patreon. Patreon only keeps 5-12% to of the fees. Skillshare, on the other hand, keeps, wait for it, 70%. 70%?! Skillshare keeps 70%? Of what you make? That's fucking robbery. That is like... Hey, bank. I, uh, I have all... I uh, Here, I have 100 grand in here. But, uh, here, I'm gonna give you 70% thousand dollars to hold my money might as well send a fucking hamburger to my house skillshare is charging their users 168 dollars per year which is again even more than youtube premium yet they're only sharing 30 percent of it with the actual creators so they take money from people so you have to pay skillshare to view them correct and the people that use skillshare they take 70%. So you combine the money that they take from the creators with the money from the viewers? <laughs> that is insane. That is ridiculous. That is stupid. That is a scam. Whereas YouTube, it is free, like he said, to view. Much of the main Stranger Things cast, for example, was paid a quarter million per episode. If all of these other businesses are able to stay afloat without taking anywhere close to 70% of the revenue, there's no reason for Skillshare to be taking 70%. It appears to me yes, that there is. Skillshare figured Yes, there is. There is a reason Skillshare is taking 70%. Let me tell you the reason. YouTube. If you can't compete with the game, you gotta cheat. That's it. That's the thing. That's the business. If you can't compete with YouTube, which you will not be able to, Especially now that it's owned by Google as well. Remember that day? Sheesh. Remember when you had to make like that Google Plus account? Like it was so stupid. And now we all have like a Google Plus account for no reason with our picture on it. But listen, the reason is they can't beat YouTube. So they said, let's scam our way through. If we can't compete, to make money, we'll scam our way to make money, and that is that is exactly why they did it. The bottom line is that Skillshare just isn't worth it. You're basically getting a huh. discount version of YouTube that you is a discount version of YouTube without a discount because you're paying. Let that sink in like the Titanic. Yeah, if I was Jack, I'd fucking let go myself right now. Because Skillshare is such a big player within the sponsorship scene, no YouTuber wants to speak out against them. And audiences are led to believe that Skillshare truly is some sort of exceptional- It is- that's definitely Dr. Phil, right? I know the background anyway. I don't- I don't know this episode, I don't know this- Oh! Yeah, it is! I, I see the R. Man, that background is so... Iconic. <laughs> the lighting is so funny. But until then, I'm Hari, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Once again, go subscribe to Logically Answered. It's right there. And uh, subscribe to me if you like what you see. Or, uh, and if you're at the end of this video now, I appreciate you. I can't believe you actually watched this whole thing. This is great. I liked it. Um, I do have videos by uh, a YouTuber named Sunny, uh, which you probably know who does content like this as well. And it's so good. So juicy. So much content I want to, like, squeeze. 
I'm not trying to steal content here. I'm trying to like get you to know me by watching me react to these contents. In other words, I am taking other people's content and making content out of it. So yeah. Uh, with with that being said, I I do appreciate everyone that has made these videos. I, I'm impressed because I, I I do want to like make these type of videos, but I don't know where to start. And I also I'm in I'm in a process of like, should I do gaming? And gain subscribers through that. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in a weird crossroad right now because I'm starting this channel and I don't know how to end it. I, I don't know where it's gonna lead, but I do know I want to do what I love, and I do want to squeeze gaming into it. But I also like, I'm like, I want to make these documentaries, but nobody's gonna watch it. I don't think, and it, it takes a lot of effort and time. So I'm just like, right now, I'm like, if I make the documentaries, I don't really show my face. The only person that really know too well that really does that is Tov. He shows his face, he shows personality, and I don't want to like copy him either. So I think it's best I like do reactions to these videos and then also give you knowledge of what I already kind of know of them. And I think it's like a good combination of like, you know, two different worlds. And on top of that, I'll do gaming. So you get, you know, just my content as well. Um, with that being said, thank you so much for watching the video. I appreciate you guys. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you, if you do like what you see. If you don't, I just slurred over my words. I'm not going to edit that out. <laughs> Relativity. We all make mistakes. And, as always, take care of my bears. And don't die. Ka-chow.